Hi there, I'm here to talk to you a little bit about a study that we've recently published in collaboration with uh, Food and Farm Care Canada. And it's a project that relates to uh, Canadian attitudes uh, of the non-farming public towards uh, food and farming. Uh, it's a study that uh, we've been managing for several years now. Uh, started off in uh, 2003, again in 2006, uh, 2009, and then once again this summer in 2012, we fielded a study with 1,200 Canadians and wanted to understand how they feel about Canadian agriculture and food today. The study uh, is nationally representative, including all Canadian provinces. It uh, uh, also uh, allows us to sample regions. So we're able to look at results as the country overall, as well as the, at the provincial level. Uh, the first slide I'm going to show you is a slide that tells us a bit about the overall impressions that Canadians have uh, of farming today, and it's a great story for Canadian agriculture. As you can see here, this slide shows uh, the overall impression of Canadian agriculture, and it actually captures data from the last three waves, 2006, 2009, and 2012. What uh, we find really interesting with this slide is if we look at the 2012 result, we can see that the overall uh, percentage of Canadians that have a very positive or somewhat positive impression of agriculture has increased to 56%, which is more than half of the Canadian far, uh, population. Uh, what's important with this is that it actually has increased from 2006, it was only 41% which is a relative change of 36 percent, so something that we can feel really proud of and really happy about. Uh, importantly though is that, uh, perhaps more importantly though, is that on the negative end of the scale we can see that in, 17 per, uh, that in 2006, 17 percent of Canadians had a negative impression of Canadian agriculture and that has actually dropped to 8 percent overall, which is less than uh, 10 percent or less than 1 in 10 Canadians. So, What's really important from our perspective is looking at this research is that we have a very positive uh, uh, story to tell. We've seen some real change, some measurable change, and it really underlines the importance of having tracking studies to be able to understand how Canadians feel and, and, how, and to be uh, in front of the trends and provide industry with this important data. Uh, what's also interesting is to be able to look at these results across the country. Is this something that's just happening uh, in certain areas or is it something that's a more a part of a bigger trend overall? And this next slide will actually help uh, to, for you to take a look at that. What we can see here is uh, across the country, we, uh, since 2006, we've seen a, a consistent and steady increase in perceptions of Canadian agriculture. In some places it's been more dramatic year over year. For example, example in Saskatchewan and Manitoba, we've seen tremendous increases uh, in both 2009 and 2012. In other provinces, it's stabilized a bit. But overall, we can see that this uh, truly is a national trend and something that affects, all, uh, uh, that affects agriculture across Canada. This survey is really designed to help us understand not only the great things and the things that people find positively, but also where there's room for improvement. And what we're going to look at on the next area of, of this research in this next slides is among those who had a positive impression, how do they feel about uh, Canadian agriculture, and what's really driving that positive impression. And on the negative side of things, among those who have a negative impression, what, what, where's that coming from and what's really the, the driving force behind that negative impression. I'm going to show you another slide that's going to help to illustrate this. What you can see is that, the, uh, that this is actually the 2012 survey result I showed you earlier. You can see here that more than half of Canadians had a positive impression on the left hand side. When we ask people, well, what was really driving that, uh, that positive impression, we can see that the leading uh, areas of response were that food's safe, it's well inspected, it's regulated, farmers are ethical, good, trustworthy people and the Canadian farms produced high quality food. Farming in Canada is also perceived to be better than in other countries. Uh, if we look at the other end of scale, of course, the people who had a less favorable impression of Canadian agriculture, we can see that the negative mentions among that less than, uh, less than 10 percent are corporate farms taking over, a perception that hormones, GMOs, and antibiotics are being used more widely, that uh, chemicals and pesticides are being used more widely, that there's high prices for land, but what's also interesting is that we see a, a small percentage of this group actually indicating that there's a lack of support for farmers from government, which means that even among this 9% that have a negative impression, there is a sense of empathy there. They're not against agriculture or against farming. They're uh, a group that actually is empathetic and, and sees that there's opportunities for farmers to be supported more uh, completely by government. Mm -hmm.